I play Mike Markula, who, in m my opinion, is you know underrecognized for his contribution to the early years with Apple. He came in right as they were developing Apple II, which is the, really the first real computer with a keyboard, um, and uh, wrote him a check for $90,000 in 1977 dollars, whatever that would be today. So Mike Markula is money. I come in with the money, and that's when you know things really take off. We actually shot this movie in Steve Jobs' garage, the very place where he invented computers, you know. Um, so it's pretty amazing. I, I look at the house, it's nondescript. You know, it's not un, unlike every other house on that block, but it is the house. I asked the producers, you know, you could have shot this around the corner here in Reseda or something, but um, he said we, we had to go to the, you know, it may be small, but it's a mountaintop and we had to go shoot there. The very first scene I do, um, you know, they, they make they make this character look really rich. He drives up in a gold Corvette and in a dollar bill green colored suit. But um, I'm I'm thinking as I, as I, the morning of the shooting that because I just got the part. Um, how would you find somebody's house in 1977? You can't look it up on your GPS, right? So I have a like a Filofax type of book. You remember those? And a map. Because <laughs> you'd have to be looking at a map to, so that was just my little tip of my hat to how things used to go. And if only we had little devices that could tell us where to go and, and how to do those things, which of course we do now because of this guy. I wanted to be pulling up into his front yard with the old version of how you found somebody's house, which was you'd write down the address and you'd look it up on a map. <laughs> S details like that um, are, are really what Josh Stern, too, the director's really got an incredible eye for the m minute details that, um, that make this so authentic. Ashton's crushing it in this part. It's so fun to watch because, again, I know so little about Steve Jobs, but his sort of his essence, you know, everybody kind of has a sense of, and he, whatever that essence is, he, he's got it. It's really wild to see. The script is written that each of these points in the story are, are kind of subtle, is what I found when I read it, so that you're, um, it, it's going to be a real a challenge that I know Josh will be able to live up to because you've got to take all of these subtle story points because they feel small when you read them, but then when you see how Steve Jobs is experiencing them, they're, they're really big. Maybe the storyline between Lucas's character, Daniel Kotke, and Steve Jobs is an interesting example of that because seems like there's just this little problem in the relationship. He doesn't really like him or whatever, and it's small in the script, but then you see how the actors bring it to life, and it, it really feels profound. I, I, and I think that's due to how uh, Josh is directing the movie. He knows how to make the most out of something that's subtle. Watching Ashton portray this role, though, if the qualities that he's portraying are what this man was, You'd have seen him as, uh, you know, hyper intense, obviously truly uh, gifted intellectually, um, and um, you know he's like a guy who just has blinders on. So anybody else around him is immaterial unless they're on his same track to achieve what he's thinking of. You know, it's just one of those guys that seemed to have to do what he what he was doing, not just do it because he enjoys it. It's almost like something was pushing him through. And then you see that his life was so short and you wonder if maybe that wasn't the case, you know.